I love castor oil, I love foxy gel, and it together in an eco style gel. How can you not try that? Hey loves, welcome back to the My Crown of Curls YouTube channel. Guys, I know I look a little different and that's because I did a wash and go. Guys, I did a wash and go. I had a successful wash and go. You can see the curls, like even, even my 4C hair at the front is defined. Look at that. And you can see all my different curl patterns. Like I am so happy and I achieved this wash and go by using this Eco Styler Gel. Guys, it is worth the hype. If you see it, buy it. So the first thing that I did was wash my hair. Now, right now my hair could have probably lasted 3-4 days without me washing it. But everyone everywhere said for the perfect wash and go, you have to start on a clean canvas, clean hair. So I decided to give my hair a good scrubbing. I opted to do a bentonite clay treatment and this really helps in clumping and defining my curls. I would leave links down below of how I make this so that you guys can see for yourself. So now with my whole head covered in clay and when I rinse it out this is how it looks. We're going to start our wash and go. So I only use two products for this, which is just the Eco Styler Gel and the Giovanni Leave-In Conditioner. And believe me, I had shea butter, coconut oil and all of these stuff on hand because I thought I would need them and I actually didn't. So this is my hair without any product in it. I made sure that I sprayed it with water so that it was damp. The first thing that I do is apply my leave-in conditioner and I work it throughout my hair. I work in small sections and I make sure that I finger detangle as I go. Next, I am adding the Eco Styler Gel and I'm smoothing down the roots of my hair so that it doesn't dry poofy. And I'm taking my time and I'm making sure that each strand of my hair is properly coated. Now that I'm seeing that it's clumped and and coated, I'm going to begin separating each part where it naturally wants to separate and this is called the shingling method. So this is how a completed section looks. Guys, I am exhausted at this point, but I persisted. So now we're going to do the same thing on the next side of my head. Using a small section, we're going to dampen it with water, then apply our leave-in conditioner, then our gel. Make sure you finger detangle at every step of the way so that when you start shingling you're not ripping your hair apart because you're encountering knots that should not be there because you properly detangled in the first place. Now I want you guys to pay attention to my different hair textures or curl patterns because when I say I have 4A, 4B, 4C hair, I really do have all those textures in my hair. Now my 4C hair is located at the very top, at the very front of my hair at the sides and I'm showing you guys that hair right now and this gel really did define those as well. 
Now at this point, I'm absolutely loving the results, but guys, why does this take so long? Oh, for my, for me, a wash and go is a wash and work, guys. Oh my gosh, I did not do this in one hour or 30 minutes. I actually took three and a half hours to do my entire hair. Now hair is another different type of curl and I think this is for a hair I don't know but this is different than the rest and this is located at the front of my hair and the crown so guys I'm finally done and I'm absolutely loving the results this is the first time that I've actually achieved a wash and go in the true sense of the word Usually when I try this, and this has probably just been like once or twice before, it ended up being a wash and throw. I never had this kind of curl definition. My hair didn't lay straight. It didn't look this good. And I know it's from using this gel. I only used two products, remember? Just two products to achieve this, and it was just the leave-in conditioner and the gel. I hope that you guys see that a wash and go is indeed possible. I have been made a believer a wash and go is indeed possible and I hope that you guys give it a try. My hair is still going strong. I don't have any knots from this which is which was one of my biggest fears. I am so glad that I actually gave it a shot. Once again. Thank you so much for stopping by the My Crown of Curls YouTube channel. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Share this video with a friend and leave a comment down below because I really do love hearing from you guys and I respond to every single comment on every single video. Remember that I upload videos every Sunday and sometimes on Wednesday so do check back for more. See you guys in the next one. Bye!